Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to talk a little bit um, about the multiplication rule from counting. And basically, the multiplication rule says that any time you see the word and or then, as in choose something and something else, or choose something then something else, means you multiply how many ways there are to choose the first one times how many ways there are to choose the second one. So I am first. Um, there's more than one way to do these types of questions. I think I'm going to show you three or four ways um, to do it. So the first way you can do it, which I actually really like, um, when you do more advanced questions, I think tree diagrams sort of become the only way to do them. Um, is a tree diagram basically says you start with um, one variable to be sort of like your tree trunk, and then your another variable becomes you know thick branches, then another variable variable becomes thinner branches. So I'm going to do this example, and hopefully it'll all make sense. So. How many ways are there to choose a sweater and, magic word, is and, how many ways are there to choose a sweater and pants? You own three sweaters, you own two pairs of pants. So I am going to start, I think, with, let's start with sweaters. So I'm going to do three sweaters. That's my first variable, so it's going to be sort of like my tree trunk. So I've got one sweater here, another sweater here, and another sweater here. So I'm going to go S1 for the first sweater, S2 for the second sweater, and S3 for the third sweater. So you own two pairs of pants. So then I have two options for my smaller branches. I can choose sweater 1 and pants 1, or I can choose sweater 1 and pants 2. I can choose sweater 2 and pants 1, sweater 2, and pants 2, or I can choose sweater 3, pants 1, sweater 3, pants 2. So to find how many ways, oops, you count how many ways are there to follow, you know, a path or a branch on my tree diagram. So I've got one way here, another way here, so that's two, three, four, five, six different paths. So how many ways are there? There's six ways. That's, I shouldn't write that. That looks like six factorial. There's six ways to choose a sweater and pants. So there's a different way to do this. You know, if you had like, I don't know, 18 pairs of pants and 600 sweaters, you don't want to be making a tree diagram. So in this next example, I'm going to show you a few options for doing a question where you don't want to draw a tree diagram. So my question says, how many ways are there to choose one of four peaches then, magic word, one of eight apples? So first I'm going to think, I'm going to choose a peach, then an apple, so that's multiply by... So, how many ways are there to choose one of four peaches? Well, I can choose peach one, peach two, peach three, peach four. So, one of four, there's going to be four ways I can choose a peach, times eight apples, you know, same idea, I can choose, you know, apple one, apple two, etc. So, there's eight ways to choose my apples. So there's 32 ways to choose one of four peaches and one of eight apples. So 32. The um, other there's two other ways. I mean, you can think about this. You can think about this as I'm going to choose first. I'm going to choose apple one. Or, or means mul um, not multiply, and means multiply, then means multiply, multiply, or means add. So I can choose apple 1 or apple 2, or I can pick a different apple, or I can pick a different apple. 
and then the same thing, oh, I guess that was peaches. Oh, well. Then I can do the same thing um, for apples. You know, I can do this apple or this one or this one. And what you'll end up with 4 times 8, that's going to be 32 again. Um, you can also think of it as using this notation with choose. Um, I wouldn't use um, permutations because it doesn't matter what order I'm picking my produce in. So I'm going to choose from four apples. Hi everyone, sorry my memory card just died. Um, what I was saying was that I'm going to choose from my four peaches, I'm going to choose one, and from my eight apples, I'm going to choose one. I like to write it as four choose one times eight choose one, just because that's the way I think about it, and that's the way I plug it into my calculator. Um, so I guess I'll show you how to do it on your calculator. This is sharp EL531W, um, and it's um, a standard math department calculator. So I'm going to do 4 choose 1. So I'm going to go 4, second function, see my NCR button. So I've got 4 choose 1, and that's going to give me 4. And then I'm going to go times, I've got 8, second function 5, oops, that didn't work, second function 5, now I've got 8 choose 1 equals 32. So I would um, do it with choose, um, just because I'm familiar with it, and it makes a lot of sense to me to think of 4, I'm choosing 1. But, I mean, if you, on this question, um, definitely you could use a tree diagram if that's easier. So, I hope this video helped.